don't know if you know this tonight or not, but it is Friday. Finally, and we get off Monday, so. I see it. That's a. Is that black and blue? It is. Very nice. Yeah, uh, that's the new Forius. Uh, we had a distributor, uh, Joe, that Michael's friend, he um, let us ride this one since it's taking a little bit to get them in. Wow. So we're just trying to help a fellow distributor out. So what did they change about it for it to be the new? Uh, if you wouldn't have asked me, I could have told you. <laughs> Uh, uh, the badging's different, or the yes. color badge. The badging's different. It, you know, it's got the on the back, and then it's well. I think we've had the embossed thing, and if not mistaken, I'm not That's sure if he has it on. Right there. Yep. And then, well, this. Yep. Yeah. If you fill up in there, because I don't know your camera's not gonna fit, you can feel that it actually has oh, the USB has ports on, on the, the inside. Yeah. That'll be fun to try to plug it, won't it. Well, once you get it plugged, then you ain't got to worry about. <laughs> But you know, it still has the memory foam on the inside. So if you're that organized, yeah. you'll know exactly where your tool goes. But I think my strap's blocking the power drawer. So we have that one coming in and we have a few cops that are, you know, kind of do technician, they do cops, uh -huh. they, they do cops. They are cops, but they also, and they really love the thin blue line. He said if he was a full-time tech, he would take Get it in no a heartbeat. Problem, yeah. Now, our other new thing is back there, you're standing right next to it. It's the limited edition rat fink cart. It's the MSC, I'm not 100% what the rest of it is, but um, I can look up the part number. But I would open it, but, but see, we got- shelf. Yeah. <laughs> and I, that shelf's lower. <laughs> yeah, and we were gonna stick it on the back wall, but we decided to move the air hammers and uh, the impacts and all our air tools to the back. So we really don't want to scratch it, mm -hmm. but um, I don't blame you. It's well, the handles are cool with that red. They are, and it's got the casters that you know all four of them are swivel. Yeah. It's not like a regular. That's a good idea. Yeah. So, like I explained to somebody, they said, "Well, can I see it yesterday?" And I'm like, "Yeah." I said, "I can pull that one out a lot easier than I can the one next to you." I said, "Cause if I move the 773 back there back." I said, I'm going to have to move this card out and then I'm going to yeah. have to pull it around and then pull it out, which is fine when you're in a shop, but you know, on a truck like this, it's kind of snug, <laughs> but that's, we got that one in too. Michael got that fun call from Averett that said we had uh, two carts and then the other one decided to pop up when we got down there. Yeah. So. Well, that'll work. Yeah. Um. How's the ice cream business going? Good, having a restock like uh -oh. every three days. That's good. It don't help that our kids know that ice cream's out here now. So, so they come and borrow it, Yes. test the product. Everybody needs a good quality control inspector. Though. Yeah, uh, that's our thing now. They get off the school bus, which we have two in school. They get off the bus and we go over and pick them up. Well then our little boy is still at his Nana's. They want to come to the ice cream truck. It's not a tool truck no more, it's the ice cream truck. Yeah. So. They'll come running around the side from the yard and up here they go. <laughs> so we gotta well, kinda keep good. a, yeah, we gotta keep an eye on them. Um, Very good. Yeah, and I think the other thing that we got, and that's what I was trying to tell you earlier, is uh, we got this in Wednesday night. I loaded it Thursday morning. Digital welding goggles. I hadn't even opened it yet. Okay. It was pretty interesting. I know somebody said that they didn't like the way the helmet kind of flopped back and forth. Yeah. I'm like, well, I guess I didn't realize that y'all wore them like welding helmets all the time. I thought you just put them on yeah, while you- I put mine on while I weld. Yeah. I don't know if he just kind of walks around with his own. I don't know. So you look like Darth Vader. Yeah. Or um, minions. Somebody said you look like minions. <laughs> yeah. so. But let's see. I'm guessing that's the, the, hood, the yeah. hood. That's your Al Qaeda hood. <laughs> and I'm guessing this is the actual, like, all right. That's the face shield part? No, that's the mouth shield. The mouth shield, okay. <laughs> it's even got the, the little metal rivet looking paint job See? done on it so you can look like a. And then you have the actual goggles. Somebody should just buy that for Halloween. You know, 
that'd be a very expensive Halloween costume, but all right. So this is the actual goggles. And I ain't gonna pretend that I know how y'all weld, but yeah. it looks like it's, it's got the, it said it's got a low profile, profile design. You can customize your view and it's got an adjustable dark setting. So mm -hmm. that's pretty the neat. The side of it looks comfortable. Yeah. Kind of looks like they incorporated swimming goggles <laughs> yeah. into the design. And it's got an adjustable strap and it looks like it's got an extra. So I mean, just in case. Yeah. Oh, and it's got one to hold your face mask on too. Well, so. And it looks like you got some extra lenses maybe. Hmm. That's different. Yeah. Oh, it's got it definitely looks strange, don't it? Like if somebody come walking in there, you wouldn't know if he was getting robbed or, or if they, Star yeah. Wars was coming back. I don't know. I mean, maybe somebody that knows more about welding than I do <laughs> can give you more information on it. But um, it's pretty interesting. Yeah. I mean, that's heavy duty plastic. So, and then you have definitely the whole face. Different looking. That'd be a lot of stuff to put on to weld for a few minutes. I mean, I'd probably be for <sighs> guys that want to weld a long time at a you know. Kind of looks like the scuba diver welders, but I'm going to tell you that that probably is not waterproof yeah. if I had to guess. <laughs> so anybody that tries it out can let us know how it works. There you go. So if you guys want to run around looking like Darth Vader and weld some stuff, WG3000 mm -hmm. and uh, that can make that happen for you. Hey, whatever works for you. That's it. Everybody yeah. has different preferences. Definitely. But looks like it has that. It goes all the way over the shoulder, so you're not going to where a welding helmet stops at your neck, mm -hmm. that'll protect your whole shoulders and everything, so. Well, that's cool. It's definitely different. It is. Yeah, I like the box. <laughs> I still think my white with the blue is prettier, but. Well, we could always set that one right next to it, and then there you go. <laughs> you have the best of both worlds. You know that box, that, that shop used to be full of snap-on boxes, you remember? Yeah. Now it's got the big, my box, the 6S, and then the gray 4S in there with the top drawer. Uh-huh. Like, sort of funny how times change, ain't it? It is. Yep. I still remember the sign that Michael got to take off the wall. That's true. So. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody thought I was talking about, about Matco, but it wasn't mm -hmm. Matco. It was the dealer. Yep. You know? And then I don't think a lot of people realize that we have some people that come in, and I mean, We'll take Snap-on, for example, because that's somebody that we competed with mm -hmm. and we still continue to compete with. They say that the one that was in this top area was fantastic. They loved him. They could take anything to him. They didn't even have to buy it from him. He had warranty it out. Well, then you come to the one that was in our area, and I'm not talking about Joven right. by no beans. Um, but this other one, he wouldn't, if you didn't buy it from him, he wouldn't go warranty mm -hmm. it. And they were like, well, do y'all warranty our stuff? We didn't buy from you. I said, it's the distributor's uh, discretion. Yeah. I said, they don't have to if they don't want to, you know, but right. because Michael is such a good distributor, he's going to warrant it for you best he can, so. Well, I know a lot of people, they, they fuss, you know, I read all the comments. I'm sure you've seen them. Yeah. Like, my Matco guy sucks. He won't come in my shop. He won't do this. He won't do that. Well, it's kind of his choice. Like if his day's yeah. full already, I can understand why he wouldn't want to take him to the shop, right? Yeah. And they say, well, he won't warranty the stuff. He has to order everything. Like, I feel like if you're a good customer, your mm -hmm. dealer will, let's say you broke this torch bed. I'll give you an example. You know, he <laughs> would pull that torch bed out and give it to you. But if you didn't buy very much from him. Those right there. You know, yeah, he'd rather order it so he don't mm -hmm. bust the set up because he may have, you know, he may could sell yep. that at the next shop. You know? And see, and that's what we're saying here is, so this is a whole set. Yep. It was hanging on our ceiling very good customer and these sockets are really hard to get right now so what michael do he pulled one off mm -hmm. that way that that customer could have one right. now we can't do that to every single set we got because of course we've got to have some sets to sell but if we can do it we will you know but now <laughs> you just kind of have to well, I mean, if you don't buy nothing from the dealer, you shouldn't expect them to pull their inventory, you know, like yeah. they'll order it for you, right? Mm -hmm. But, you know. And that's like, we try stuff like this right here. 
to be honest, the socket's on back order. That's why it's hanging out underneath this 4S toolbox. I mean, because I'm not gonna, we're not gonna sell you a set that you can't have this socket for, you know, we don't know if it's gonna be a week, we don't know if it's two weeks or a month, honestly. They never come back. Yeah. You never know. Never know. But um, if we can pull something and say, I had a wrench for somebody. Mm -hmm. They pulled it, they said, look, I need this eight millimeter wrench, like right now to go work on something. I said, okay. I said, let me look, see if it's in stock. Well, it's in stock. So I said, take this one. I can order it and put it back on my, right. you know, back in that set and then no big deal. So if we can do that, we'll do it. A lot of people just want to fuss and complain about something too. Oh, there's always something to complain about. Like I figured this out in life. <laughs> You could give out $100 bills to every single person you see that day, and somebody's going to fuss because they got the old style versus the new style, or yep. that $100 bill was wrinkled and your hundred, your hundred was crispy, you know, mm -hmm. you're not going to make everybody happy. I'm not going to complain about $100, I ain't, I'm just going to throw it out there. <laughs> you can't, you can't make everybody happy. <laughs> well, that's just like, we had a penny on the ground when we went to Walden's, there was a penny, it was on tails. I'm a stickler for flipping it over on heads and then I walk away. Well, my daughters want to know why I didn't pick it up. I said, because that's somebody else's good luck that they're going to pick up, you know, it's mm -hmm. just, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm more of a happy kind of go lucky person instead of, <laughs> I'm going to pick it up, it's mine, you know. Yeah. Now, if it had been a dollar, I might have picked it up. But. Right. There you go. Life lessons from Mama Matco right there. If well, you find a penny on tails, flip it over and let somebody else find it. Yeah, right. make it their day. Easy, 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 easy. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. Like always, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger and click that button. It's totally free. Just press it. You guys have a wonderful weekend. See ya.